All right, welcome back, y'all. This is the Benjamin, and you're watching Let's Play Soul Blazer. It's the last time we were destroying enemies on Rockbird, and we're almost done. We got about six more monster layers. Um, we're also like desertifying this place by removing all of the the, the H2O, the water. So I'm pretty sure, like, you know, the environmentalists out there probably gonna probably wouldn't be too pleased with what we're doing. I mean, I'm definitely pro-environmentalism, but in this case, apparently saving the world from evil is more important. All right, so there's four of the monster layers, and this is uh, this is a little intense, just a little crazy, but uh, you know, if we if we're if we're not stupid, I think we'll be okay. All right, so once we get get rid of these monkeys, the strategy is going to be to start start shooting rock arrows at those uh, palm trees, right? Because we don't want to. Because I think what those those monster layers will actually remove the rocks in front of them. We don't want to. We don't really want to do that quite yet. It's e it's much easier if we take pot shots, right? Because right now it's nothing that those palm trees can do. They can shoot that way all day, every day. But there we are. All right. So step on this one. We can step on anything because the controllers are funny. Step on this one. And step on this guy. What have we got? Is that the new mermaid statue? I do believe it is. All right, cool. It's a really small voice. Can it be like a booming, you know, alto type voice? You know, from some madam or something? I think that would be more interesting and more authoritative than a small voice from a statue. It doesn't really do it much. Ooh, an anglerfish, that's new. That is so new. Oh boy. <gasps> Oh, is that another, like, holy, holy, is that a holy fish? We got a holy mackerel? Knock, knock, knock. No, nah, that was, that was terrible, viewers. I'm sorry. I'll refrain from bad jokes. At least try to. Oh, there's one more. Yeah, this is, this whole island is one screen, so there's not really any point in missing anything. So, oh, yeah, the, yeah this, this, but, it, and, uh, you know, this, this can be an easy one to miss. Even with those stupid, like, uh, falcons that shoot tornadoes at you. Oh, hello! Hello, lady. Oh, this is gonna be a shortcut back, I believe. Yay, have some EXP. Yeah, let's let's go back to the Seabed Palace, say hello to people, get that, get that holy mackerel. Uh, let's see. So talk to this one. Hello. Ah, the volcanic island of Doreen. Which is why it's going to be helpful to have the, uh, the anglerfish. So now we're going to go to the third island in this, uh, in St. Els. I actually got it right that time. Oh, hello dolphin. We've already, we've already talked to you. Where's the anglerfish? Where's the anglerfish? Where's that guy screwing around? Hello! Come on. <laughs> Even though I don't look like it, I'm disguised as an angler. Because I think that's a fantastically productive way to try to save the world. To fly around at the bottom of the ocean all day. Oy vey. It gets worse, viewers. It gets worse. Like, some of the other worlds, the, uh, these, like, helpful spirits that show up, the, the forms that they take are just like, Really? Really, dude? That's what you decided to be? So it gets worse. Let me see if there's any other, uh... Talk to that woman. She's the queen. Um, I don't think there's anything new over here. I just, unfortunately, I don't remember this area quite as well as the other ones, and that treasure chest, we'll be able to get that treasure chest later, so, worry not. And so it's a good thing that we actually picked up the mermaid's tears, because we're gonna need those for the next area that we're going to. And I believe one of the mermaids actually tells you this, if you go to, yeah, let's, I mean, we already picked them up, but I think this, this, this mermaid right here kind of says the same thing. Yep, there we are. So that's, again, a very sort of on-the-nose obvious hint that the game likes to give you. But, you know, it's it's better than wandering around being lost. Um, if you guys have ever played, like, point-and-click adventure games on the PC in the mid-90s, there were some games that you could really, really get lost in. Um, one of my favorites, Return to Zork, like, it really is, there's nothing that's obvious, and you just kind of have to basically brute force your way through it. Um, 
Day9 recently played that game, and, uh, it was- it was a pretty good LP, actually. He's, uh... I'm really enjoying his series Mostly Walking, uh, because it is a very fun and creative way to, uh, get into, uh, you know, sort of get into this mode of- I, I feel like- damn, I, you know, I feel like- I feel like we have to kill that guy. Yeah, I think we can get down there. <laughs> this is- this is a detour. But yeah, I, I feel like it was a really interesting um, way of LPing adventure games. Like, he gets together with his two friends, and they, they play, and they talk about it, and they kind of have a different analysis on it. It's pretty sophisticated. But yeah, uh, Day9 TV, if you haven't checked it out, you should. Especially if you were at any time a fan of StarCraft or StarCraft 2, because that's kind of his specialty. When I used to play StarCraft, he was the one I would go to. Oh look, another mermaid. The other dancing mermaid. So that's wonderful. Uh, yeah, so... I don't know, it's, it's been interesting, like, checking out other channels and how people do things. Actually, uh... This was a game that one of my favorite L players, H.C. Bailey, has already covered. And he's one of my biggest influences, I believe. Um, but I decided to give it a shot myself. So... I would suggest, you know, checking out his. And check out mine, and, you know... There's a synchronicity there. Synchronicity is not a word, but let's pretend it is for a second. Humor me. All right, this guy is going to die. Let's get the jellyfish. Oh boy. What kind of actually sucks about the, uh, the 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 spirit that we got though? This one. Um, what is it? What's the official? Yeah, the, the the soul of shield. This is the only time where it's useful. I don't believe there's any other time in this game. Where you need to use his powers. Oh, hermit crabs. I think. Are those hermit crabs? Alright. Either way, they're gonna die. We only got four more monster layers on the screen. This is like this is a big screen. Because this has like six different passageways that uh, that you can go down. And by the way, oh, nice. We are we I think we are getting fairly close to getting a better sword. Um, just because like it's at that point where as you can see right here, like, it's just, it's kind of a waste of time if you stun these guys. Um, because they're, they flash for a little bit, and, yeah, it's, ugh, it's not good. And this is only, this is only the second sword you get, so it's not like you're sacrificing attack power at all. Or mobility, because there's not, there's only so many metallic enemies in this game, too. Alright, come on, out of your shell. Quite literally. Ah, die! Oh, there we are. Is that how you do it? Can we just, like, blast these guys? Sweet. Yay! Alright, that, that accomplished almost nothing, but that's alright. Only three of these babies left. So we're getting to the point where we don't have to worry so much about it. Yeah! And, uh... Shit. This damn jellyfish. I'm hoping we can get down there. That would suck. Alright, so this is... Of the three, these are these are two. So, um, I guess we're getting pretty close to getting rid of the... Clearing out the monster layers in this particular area. What have we got? What hath we released? Oh, that dolphin. That's a helpful dolphin, actually. And you'll see why when we go back to town. It's a very happy, helpful dolphin. Unlike, uh, the other dolphin that just kind of gives you really rudimentary advice. Uh, Alright, so we're gonna, we're gonna take care of the jellyfish man. Oh, and that's, uh, oh, stingrays. Oh, Jesus. The stingrays, they shoot, shoot, like, huge blasts of, uh... Well, that sound effect, though. I think it's cool. I think it's very cool. Sounds like an old man banshee, if there is such one. All right, so this is gonna be the final monster layer of the area. So, uh, so we, when we backtrack to this this point, this screen again, it's gonna be pretty much clear, except for the sea urchins. But um, the sea urchins still always give you exp, which is a good thing. All right, we. All right, so we're watching over the world. Blah blah blah. We got some exp. We would not like to go back to the seabed palace, but we like how you're making it easier for us. So now let's go to Doreen. Dorian. Do yeah, so... And you'll see exactly how this works, right? So those, uh... 
basically anything that's caught up in that little bright circle is like those those little lava things will just be destroyed. They'll be off. So you can you can still burn yourself on the fire when it lands and it's outside of it. Oh, the dolphin Lou. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> remember how I said that there was a dolphin named Louise? Apparently, it's a dolphin named Lou, but let's pretend it's Louise. Apparently, uh, or Lou, I should say, and Lou is in trouble. Lou is having a having a rough time. So it can be Louise or Lou. It uh, really depends on which name you like better. Oh, and those are the metallic uh, the metallic gorillas that you can't kill. So no, nothing's gonna take care of them right now. But in the future, we do wanna we don't we do wanna remember these dudes. We wanna make sure that we know where they are. Uh, for now, they're just they're just kind of annoying. It really sucks that they can throw boulders down a hill, but that makes sense. If they threw if they now throwing them up a hill does not make sense. Oh man, multiple a falcon that shoots multiple uh, that has that has multiple <laughs> a monster layer that has multiple falcons. That's what I wanted to say. Oh, a mermaid and a lot more floor space. So that's the other mermaid on the other side of the un the passage that leads underground, which we're going to be seeing. So, and do do do, kill some rocks, kill some rocks. Yeah. See, it looks like those things are going to hurt us, hit us, but they they will not. And I mean, we could have gone here without the uh, without the soul of shield. It just would have been a little bit harder. Yay, we released the entire dancing trio. Like, I actually probably should have done that just for the challenge. Just be like, ah, we could do this, but we're gonna we're gonna ignore it for the time being. Uh, yeah, we can't get to there yet. So we're gonna have to circumnavigate. Oh, hello. I don't like you. Falcons are evil. Or, I guess they're... I don't know what kind of bird they are. Maybe they're, like, sparrows or something. Oh, more monster layers. So... Yeah, we got 11. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's crazy. All right, now the, now the passage has opened up. So now we can kill these guys. And we may have to uh, pretty soon put on the uh, the medical herb because we might be, we might be hurting. We might be hurting there. Yep. All right. Spits out another gorilla. All right. Fuck you, gorilla. do 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 Good, it's good a catchy tune. All oh, right, we get to we got some infrastructure now. Look at that. Got like a Japanese Edo era shop that was just built. I don't know. Maybe not. I I'm not sure. It's been a long time since I've taken Japanese history. I took a course in Japanese history in college, and it was pretty nifty actually. All right, treasure chest. The strange bottle, which is totally useless right now. That's okay. Uh, yeah, let's take a break. Cool, so we're in the island of Doreen. Uh, we got eight monster layers left. Uh, and so we're gonna, we're gonna make our way up that mountain. We're gonna use some mermaid tears. So watch that in the next episode of Let's Play Soul Blazer. This is the Benchinator, and thank you guys for watching.